Just there we go. So this is the straw basket that I got from the dollar store. It's very pokey actually. And it's like not a perfect square like rectangle. It's like kind of wonky and tilted. Oh well, oh well. It's pretty nice. I like it. I've always wanted a straw basket. Like ever since I saw those on Michaels. Then the ones on Michaels are like $24. This I got as just eight. I haven't even taken the tag off yet. Um can I my scissors? Here. So I am going to have to decorate this. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. I was thinking like maybe with lace, like a lace trim around the edges or like a bow at the top or like a bow at the side or something. Or maybe I can like, cause like the lace that I have, this lace, I could just like, I realized that if I put some thread through like these holes, and I like tug it together. I can kind of make a flower, so I could do that maybe. It's a pity because like the dollar store near me, there isn't any lace. But I do know that some dollar stores they have lace. Like, look at this gorgeous lace that I got from a dollar store somewhere else. It's like a very nice crochet kind of look and like this is the vibe that i'm kind of going for but unfortunately i am not talented enough to crochet like this i have never tried micro crochet oh i think it's kind of like woven too so yeah i can't really do this by myself unfortunately like lately i've been using this as just like a hair ribbon because of the length but maybe i can just I hit around this. That's like decoration. Oh, that reminds me. I also have to like make like a handkerchief or something to put in here. Because I realized lately the winds have been picking up and I don't want like the flowers to go scattering everywhere. So I'm thinking like having a handkerchief inside, like a very large one. Have like in the bottom, put the flowers in and flip it over the flowers to hold it in place, kind of. That should keep it from like scattering. Because it would not be pretty if it's scattered, and it would not look aesthetic. But yeah, if you guys want me to do flower picking one day, let me know. There aren't a lot of flowers now because it's summer and not spring, but like, I can still go flower picking for dandelions <laughs> by the side of the road. Yeah. Let me just even this out. And that could work. Like something like this. That's actually very cute actually. I actually really like this. I need to get more of this ribbon from that one dollar store. Where was that dollar store? Which dollar store was it? I don't know. Uh I'll have to go searching online for dollar stores later. I'll figure out which one it was I visited. Hmm. Yeah, this is very cute. I like this. Oh, let's try putting the lace trim around it. Maybe I can like start from here. Hmm. Okay, let me show you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think something like this would work? I don't know. I mean, I like it, but like the top feels empty almost. I feel like I need to add something more to the top. Ooh. Pearls? Can you like string some pearls? And I put it at the top. Hmm. But then these pearls are too small. Should I get bigger pearls? I don't spend that much money though. Um. Maybe it's much crochet mini flowers because like I can't crochet like 
roses like small mini roses like this with like embroidery thread so if i like maybe if i add it periodically around the top it'll make it feel less empty mm, maybe it's just me going crazy uh, i don't think i like it that um, at the corner? I could have it at the corners. Or maybe I should just do a whole line. Oh, know that's gonna be too much. I'm going crazy. Dang it. What am I supposed to do? Should I get ruffles? Oh, what should I ruffle though? I don't really have any fabric to ruffle. And I do have a lace fabric, but like. I'm gonna save that for a project. I don't know what to do. Um, but hey, we've got something. <laughs> I mean, I could just leave it as this. Like, I could just leave it as this, actually. Because this is quite cute. It's cute enough for me. I want to add more. Fine. Should I add twine to it? Maybe? Maybe I should like create some embroidery thread around the top. Like try my hand at my triple shape once more and just try to make a cute lace for them. I did see some uh, tutorials online on YouTube. But like, the only issue is it's probably going to be very thick. And you know, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah, I think let's see if I can crochet a ribbon or something and see how that turns out. I'm just like, try things out. Give it a shot. Um, yeah. Alright, okay. We got a game plan. That is good enough for me. So yeah, I'll check in later. So, hello. I think I figured out what the issue was. You see, when it comes to online baskets, like decorated ones um, that you find online, they usually have like a ribbon or something that goes along like the top. Like, it goes along the top like this. And the lace part will come out that. Only issue is my ribbon is not thick enough for that. So, uh, I could crochet like a large span of just like a rectangular fabric. Yeah, but I do have to keep in mind, they have handles. So many things to do, so many possibilities. Should I just turn to the dress instead and worry about this later? I mean, that's how I've been kind of working. I like all of these things will have to be finished eventually, but it'll probably be finished around the same time. So. Wait, it, it will actually be a good thing, because this is meant to be an accessory to the dress I'm making to go flower picking. So, it would make sense that I would make the dress first, and then the accessory after. Am I trying to justify me abandoning this for now? Yes. But I also, like, really want to make a dress. <laughs> it's like, if I have a bodice down, I already have, like, the hard part done and over with. Now I just have to make the skirt. Um... So yeah, I am going to do the dress and ignore this mess until further notice. Hello! So I have decided that I am going to work on the basket later. Because I really, really want to work on the skirt and the dress for now. Because, like, I mean, I do have the pattern, so I might as well. 
anyways i just remember the pattern is downstairs and my fabric is upstairs oh right let me show you guys the fabric i'm gonna be using Ta-da! it's a very very nice pad it's like a very warm gray color here see there is a hole over here because it's like from uh my parents old bed sheets but eh, beggars can't be choosers i like it and it's only like on the cover not the cover i don't know about cheap parts but it's only like one layer that has the hole i have like the other layer with like the stretchy elastic that one doesn't have a hole anyways i'm gonna take my ipad so i can go downstairs and see what we can do with the pattern my sewing room is a mess yeah this is my sewing room it's very dark i'll have to open up the blinds this is the dress that i used to make the bodice pattern from it's a very nice dress Sorry if you guys hear my cat meowing. She wants attention. Oh, she wants to go outside. So. Right, the bodice. is the mock-up that I made. It fits pretty nicely. I only made like the front part because the back part is going to be ruched. Um, ruched? What's it called? Ruched? What was it called? I forgot what it was called. But, like, you know when you take the elastic thread and you like thread it through the fabric? And like it scrunches together yeah it's gonna be like that because that way i won't have to add a zipper and i know i do have zippers like i have a bunch of invisible zippers that i got off of you know and they're quite decently long as you can see but like i don't know i don't want to add a zipper zippers are a pain to add but yeah I will see if this scrap of fabric is enough for me to cut the bodice out of and I'll see if I decide to make a lining from there. Yeah. So... This is like the front bodice panel. This is the back panel of the bodice. And that means this is the side bodice panel. It actually took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to draft this pattern, even though I already had an existing dress to make the pattern out of. But I eventually got it. Um, let's see, what should I do? I do not have enough fabric for this. That is fine, I have more fabric up there. Let me use that. But for now, let's focus on, I suppose, the front bodice pattern and yeah, just the front part. I just gotta decide where I want the middle to be. Do I want to be like, do I want this like a stripe to go down the middle? Or do I want it to be like off to the side? Or how should I do this? Um will it be easier to cut if it's like um but the thing is, this isn't like a perfect uh this isn't like a perfect rectangle either, so the lines aren't really parallel. Oh, 
Oh geez, um, let me think. Do I want this stripe to be in the middle? That could be cute. Or do I want this stripe to be in the middle? That could also be cute. Maybe this, you know, I don't have no extra wrapper. But this stripe or this stripe? Hmm. Do we want the thick stripe to be in the middle or do we want the thin stripe? I can't tell. I like both. Oh jeez. See, this is why it takes me forever to complete a project. I'm like, I spend half of it just sitting there or standing there, just wondering what I should do. Cause like, <laughs> well, it could turn out so nicely. Wait, is that middle one too thick? <laughs> Like, yeah, I might not have enough space to cut out all the other parts. Should I? Yeah. <sighs> I'm just trying to cut it on. Thick with it. Thick with it. I can do thick, or I could do thin. Or let me just go in the middle. I, I could just go in the middle. Ah, but then it wouldn't be even on both sides, so then it wouldn't look nice. Mm. What about this way? Um, I think I think that I'm going to go with the thin because I do like the thin one more, like a bit more, because I like it. Just not like that, you know, those like uh, shirts that are my brain is blinking. Like the shirts that have like those like, kind of like it's not they're not stripes but, like it was like kind of folded and like it's not like a pinstripe but like you know those kind of shirts that's what a thin one reminds me of the thick one's a bit too thick why am I caring about this dang it ah uh, it's just a stupid sundress no one's gonna. See it after summer. Okay, I guess I'm cutting this out of the spending part. But oh, that's a lot of leftover fabric on the sides. Hmm. I could definitely fit the other parts. Yeah, barely. Um. put the other parts on roughly but if I do have to keep in mind that I just want these parts to look nice um okay okay let's open the purple one I don't want these to probably start over here maybe down a bit more yeah like here ish I like to use these to hold down my patterns because like it's quite how do I explain this? It's very curly. It doesn't want to lay flat. That's probably just because of like, the paper I use. I don't think that's actual pattern paper. I think it's just like I don't know what kind of paper this is. It's just paper. That's like big enough for a pattern. Usually it's still a bit small. Like a bit on the smaller side. Okay, this is what we're going for the side. Side two is going to be over here as well. Then it's going to be like flipped around. Yes, side one, side two. 
two. Middle piece. This is what happens when you work with a pattern. Oh, jeez. I do it up over here. Oh, wait, right. This is double sided. So, like, I could do like a pattern over here. I could do it over here. Duplicate that and put it over here. That would fit. And then the top, I have plenty of room in the top to choose which one I want to cut it out of. It's like the, the straps going this way are much darker than the straps going this way. So I just want to know how it would turn out overall. You want to go mostly up and down because I'm very short, so if like vertical stripes would make me look taller ish, skinnier. Okay, this is far too much stress for cutting out the best of it. Way. I'm sorry, I kind of like it this way. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm just like cut it out randomly at this point. Yeah, I can do one over there. I can do that way. Yes. I know. I think that real nice. Let's do this a little bit more. Yes, I can do one over here. One, two, four, four. I can put another one over here then. So that would make the middle over here-ish. It's just gonna be somewhere. Down here? Over here? You know what, I'm just gonna cut it out at this point. It's like I am stressing way too much over this. Way more than I should at the very least. Far more than I should. Here. I like to pin things out when I cut it. Because, like, I don't like using chalk because it just it doesn't look nice. Plus, the lines are usually everywhere. So I would pin it instead. And by the way, the patterns that I make, they usually don't have seam allowance. I have never tried doing like a pattern with seam allowance all that much because like, I don't usually buy a lot of commercial patterns I just like watch videos online listen to them as they talk about their measurements uh, and then try my best to recreate that pattern suited to live streaming than making a video. <laughs> I do like talking to an actual audience and listening to their feedback. 
Mm. It's not good. So, uh, I think that I will just probably pause the video over here and then come back after I've cut all the pattern pieces and stitched it together. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hello, so update. I have cut out all of my pattern pieces. As you can see, this is like the back panel. It's super duper long because I figured out what the word was. It is going to be sheared in the back. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was trying to say. But yeah, I have all my pattern pieces and I also have this kind of attached. I also decided to add like a little ruffle and I did like some stitching here, zigzag stitch and now since I don't want to add the lining, I'm going to French seam it to cover it all, to cover all the ugly edges and I think that's all I'm going to be doing for today because I do have some homework I have to work on for later and I also have a class later tonight so yeah, see you guys later.